I've been the biggest feeder the last couple of weeks, bringing a tray of brownies in to Philip's work every day, just absolutely feeding them. Everyone hates me because summer's coming and I'm making everyone fat, but it's okay. I finally found the perfect recipe where everybody loved it and everyone said it was amazing. And that's why I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Please don't forget to give me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm really excited to share this recipe with you today because i have been perfecting this recipe for weeks a chocolate brownie is one of my favorite things to eat ever in the whole world and the special thing about this brownie is that the ingredients are all completely natural so much healthier and so much more guilt-free than eating a normal brownie from the supermarket or from the bakery which is filled with fat and refined sugar these ingredients are so simple and so natural and that's what makes this recipe is so special and on top of that it still tastes amazing it's fudgy it's gooey and it's moist and it's really just everything you could possibly want in a brownie First thing that you should do is just make sure that your coconut oil is melted. It shouldn't be hot, but it should just be completely melted. So in my mixing bowl, I'm gonna combine my flour. You can sieve your flour if you want, but I'm super lazy and I never sieve my flour. My cocoa powder, my teaspoon of baking powder, and then I'm gonna mix that all together. Once all of my dry ingredients are mixed together, I'm gonna cut all of the pips out of my dates and then I'm gonna blend them all together. Just check that all the lumps are out and it is as smooth as possible. Once our dates are blended, we are gonna put it inside of the mixture. So dates are really high in fiber and they're actually super good for you. They have really good health benefits and I just think they're a really good substitute for sugar. A lot of people don't like eating dates, but when you blend them up like this and use them in recipes, you really can't tell the difference. It just tastes sweet. You can't really tell that it's dates. Make sure you give your coconut milk a really good shake. So I like my brownies as fudgy as possible, and that's why I tried to put quite high fat content in here. So that's why I wanted to put my coconut milk and my coconut oil, which I'm just gonna add now. And then I'm also gonna add my almond butter. This was full, but Philip came home last night from work and attacked my almond butter. And now I have to like scrape out. It's a good thing I only need one tablespoon. So here we go, one tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add my maple syrup. So maple syrup is also a good natural natural sugar replacement I find. So a lot of people think like they have to use sweeteners instead of sugar because sugar is really bad but I think it really depends on the quality of the sugar that you have. Like if you're having maple syrup instead of refined white sugar then at least you're getting some of the antioxidants from the maple syrup. Then you've also got the health benefits of the dates which are really high in fiber and also have antioxidants. So it's like it's sugar but it's a good sugar and I'd rather eat a good sugar over a processed sweetener, but that's just me. Then we're just gonna blend together all of our ingredients. I don't know why now I'm taking a video, it's just gone everywhere. And then all we're gonna do is transfer our brownie mix into our tin. This is gonna be a good brownie, I can tell because it's already so gooey. Spread the brownie so it fills out the whole tray evenly. The brownie mix should be looking something like this. I'm not even gonna show you the state of my kitchen right now. And now I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna leave it there for 20 minutes. So for the icing of the brownie, we're gonna use some coconut cream, some almond butter, and some chocolate. It's up to you which chocolate you use. I like to use the 70% dark. So the first thing we're gonna do is melt our chocolate. As soon as my chocolate's melted, I add my coconut cream. And you give it a really thorough stir. 
And then I'm also going to add my tablespoon of almond butter. And then you just want to give it a really good stir all together and bring it to a medium heat. It really doesn't need to boil just so it gets warm and all of the different ingredients mix together well. So when the brownie comes out of the oven, it should look something like this. This is just a bit of almond butter. So you guys might want to leave the brownie to cool down completely before you put the sauce on top. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to cut the brownie up, take a slice out, pour chocolate sauce on it, and then I'm going to eat it. You're going to eat this straight away and not take it anywhere or not save it if you're just giving it out as a dessert after dinner then i recommend cutting it up while it's hot and then pouring the chocolate sauce on top because it tastes really good but usually if you want to keep them for a few days then i would recommend leaving the brownie to cool down and then put the sauce on when it's cold and let it set for another hour and then cut it up and store it in an airtight container part is when I experiment with cooking vegan because I've also made brownies and cakes and other stuff which are completely not vegan which have butter and eggs and everything else in and I just find like it doesn't taste any less good I feel like it puts people off a lot of the time when you say it's vegan because they think like oh no it's not going to taste as good but if you know how to cook vegan then your food can really just taste just as good well, I'm just going to use my hands if that is not a fudgy brownie, I don't know what is. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give me a little like down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Mwah.